Housing costs are still going up and rising wages aren't helping everybody. Affordable places to live and health care are crucial for people who are struggling. We go on the record to explore the local programs available in this unstable economy. From WPBF 25, this is On the Record with Todd McDermott and Nathalie Pozo. Good morning. The West Palm Beach Housing Authority was established by the city in 1938, created to provide safe and affordable housing to people and their families who have limited financial resources. Joining me today is Linda Odom with the West Palm Beach Housing Authority. Thank you for being here and thank you for what the Housing Authority does. Let's talk about first the current programs that you have that people can get access to to help them. Okay, well, at Housing Authority, we have a number of affordable housing solutions. We um, provide um, rental assistance through the HCV Housing Choice Voucher Program. We also um, own and manage multifamily properties. Um, we also develop affordable housing, and we're also a HUD-approved housing counseling agency where we provide housing counseling to the general population. Affordable housing is always uh, desired, but is the demand greater now than you've seen in the past? It's been growing every year since I've been there. Um, our waiting lists are extremely long. Um, the last time we took, um, we opened one of our waiting lists and we got like uh, 11,000 applications. And we can only um, put 5,000 on the waiting list. So it's uh, even being on the waiting list, 6,000 couldn't even get on it. Right, exactly. And, and just so people know, how long might you be on a waiting list or something Ooh, like this? It could be a number of years. You know, it depends on how fast it moves and the number of vouchers that you have. All right, let's talk about fast movers because you have a major project on the table, mm -hmm. L.A. Kirksey uh, Health and Housing Center yeah. project. Tell me about it. It is uh, pretty exciting and will really help. Yes, um, well, yeah, it, it's, it's very exciting. Um, the, the goal of the project is to provide um, um, comprehensive health care alongside housing programs and supportive services for the uh, surrounding community and, um, and the um, participants of the programs that we, uh, we implement. Mm -hmm. This is interesting because you are putting together housing programs and health care. Right. Why is that important? Why is that done? Well, um, you know, the, the population that we serve usually don't have access to health care, comprehensive health care. And this, uh, what, we're, what we're going to provide is going to be high quality health care, um, tailored to the needs of the community. So um, yes, so in, in having affordable housing in the mix makes it a lot easier for individuals to access um, affordable housing and health care at the same time. And let's talk about the location. It is Coleman Park, mm -hmm. and why is that the right place for something like this? Um, you know, uh, the Housing Authority has been in Coleman Park for 84 years. And um, so our goal is always to, to partner with whoever is um, um, willing <laughs> to provide um, so that we can uh, share our collective experience and expertise and resources to help the community. So um, it is important, it's, it's a very, um, uh, very important corner in the community, right? The corner of uh, Kirksey and um, 15th Street and, and Tamarin Avenue. And um, so it, it will be easy to, to access. Right across the street, you're gonna have the, the new school that they're um, rehabbing uh, at the current time. So it is a um, ideal spot. So give people a better idea of the services that people will be able to access there at the center? So they, the center will, um, individuals can access, access, of course, comprehensive health care. And this will include preventative care, um, mental health services, um, dental services, preventative care, and a pharmacy. And in addition to that, we'll have the Section 8 Housing Choice Voucher Program there, the Public Housing Program, we'll have our uh, Housing Counseling Services there, and we'll also have supportive services run by our affiliate, which is Pine Ridge Holistic Living Center, and they will be there to peer individuals with the services that they need. How many people can you serve with a program in a center like this? Any idea? Oh, it can be thousands. Um, you know, we have we have uh, approximately 4,000 um, vouchers. So um, you could see the, 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 the foot traffic coming in, in and out of there. 
And then you have um, individuals in, the, in our public housing programs, another uh, 300 and odd units close by in the surrounding community and also, um, you know, um, also very close to, to that particular area. So it could be thousands. And I know the future success of the Kersey Center relies on some partnerships that the city has fostered. They're very important to the mm -hmm. future, right? Mm -hmm. Very important. Partnerships are, are everything because this, this in itself is a partner, uh, partners, a partnership that's a trio. So we have the Housing Authority, Healthcare District, and Quantum Foundation. We're going to talk a lot more about Quantum Foundation, mm -hmm. but obviously this will re just revitalize and really transform Coleman Park. Yes. Very worthwhile. What's the time frame? Well, we're looking at um, start build, we will start building around um, the end of 25. I mean, by the time we get all the things done, we're talking to architects right now and uh, working out all the feasibility um, for, the, for the site. So um, about, we'll start building about 25. So maybe about 26, uh, um, okay. the facility will be ready. We will have you back. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Linda Odom from the Housing okay. Authority, thanks you so much for joining us today. Okay, thank you. And good luck with the project as well. Appreciate it. Thank Again, you so much. we have a lot more to talk about this morning. Next, my co-anchor, Natalie Pozo, talks about the organization bringing people together to help get grant money to nonprofits that are offering help. It's not just about the adrenaline rush. It's about transforming lives. Oh, my God, she got it! I'm on a mission to help people rediscover themselves. Finding Adventure, a new season, stream for free only on Very Local. After a car accident, do you know why money matters? Ask the store clerk who got $650,000 after an accident injured his leg. And ask the motorcyclist who got $11.1 million after nearly losing his life. Money matters. 800 561 I've tried them all, the big ones, the small ones, but then I discovered Burlington, and I cannot get enough of it. Wow, this price is amazing. They have this brand. I told you so. You'll love the deals. You'll love Burlington. I told you so. When you snag a $1.49 McCafe iced coffee made from 100% Arabica beans, luscious cream, and your choice of French vanilla or caramel flavor, you just know it's going to be a good day. Get any size iced coffee for just $1.49 all day long. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. We're looking for adults 45 and under to be in our HPV vaccination app. Sound like you? <laughs> Not me. The inner relationship. If you're sexually active and unvaccinated, it could still be you. I'm too old. If you're under 45, you're not. For most people, HPV clears on its own, but for those who don't clear the virus, it can cause certain cancers. Wow. Gardasil 9 is a vaccine given to adults through age 45 that can help protect against certain HPV-related cervical, vaginal, vulvar, anal, and certain head and neck cancers, such as throat and back and mouth cancers, and genital warts. Gardasil 9 doesn't protect everyone and doesn't treat cancer or HPV infection. These diseases may have many causes. Your doctor may recommend screening for certain HPV-related cancers. Routine cervical cancer screenings are still needed. You shouldn't get Gardasil 9 if you're allergic to the vaccine, its ingredients, or yeast. Tell your doctor if you have a weakened immune system, are pregnant, or plan to be. The most common side effects include injection site reactions, headache, fever, nausea, dizziness, tiredness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sore throat. Fainting can also happen. Help protect yourself against certain HPV-related cancers. Talk to a doctor or pharmacist today. $72,000 for John in Fort Lauderdale. And $550,000 after Carla's accident in North Palm Beach. There's no question. You need money after an accident. And we want to help you get it. Money matters. 800 561 You're watching On the Record on WPBF 25. Welcome back. I'm joined by Eric Helley from the Quantum Foundation, a private grant making organization based in West Palm Beach, which creates partnerships with donors, nonprofits and community members. Eric, thanks so much for being here with us Great this morning. Me. Before we get into our conversation, let's tell people who are not familiar with what Quantum Foundation is. Quanta, thank you, Nathalie, for having me. Quantum Foundation, we are simply a grant making nonprofit organization. We're endowed in the, in the stock market with $160 million, and we get to make grants to deserving nonprofit organizations all throughout Palm Beach County. 
Wow, and some of those include Neighborhood Renaissance and yes. the Housing Authority. So talk to us about your involvement there. Yes, so there, the, the Neighborhood Renaissance is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and we do get to work with them through our grant making. The Housing Authority is another very unique partner where we, as we don't make grants to the Housing Authority, mm -hmm. but we collaborate our funding with the resources that the Housing Authority has, and that way we leverage our private grant making with their public dollars. But Neighborhood Renaissance is a great nonprofit, nonprofit organization. They're a housing developer, and most folks would think of developers as private companies. They're a nonprofit developer developing affordable housing in low income neighborhoods, and we get the opportunity to close out some of their, their um, housing, housing needs. Yeah, and how does this go and help the community? Yeah, so the last project we did with Neighborhood Renaissance, it was a $20 million affordable housing mixed use complex. Uh, it was 20 million, we were the last $230,000 into that capital raise. And so those will be 43 units in Coleman Park, right here in West Palm Beach, where families will have an opportunity to move into safe, affordable, quality homes. And let's talk about what that does for families here in our community. You know, one of the things that's interesting, Natalie, is we're a health foundation. And most times we think of health as simply going to see a doctor, mm -hmm. a nurse, or dentist, or a mental health specialist. But research has shown that 80% of a person's ability to be healthy has to do with what we call the social determinants of health. And housing is one of those features within that 80%. And so when a person has safe, affordable, quality housing, they're actually more inclined to remain healthy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we were chatting a little bit, $165 million yes. since 1997. Yes. Um, how have you just seen that the foundation grow over all this time? Yeah, first of all, uh, the credit to our board of directors. I mean, we've had some of the most amazing board of directors, some who have been on the board since its founding. Bill Meyer, who's well known in our community, Jeanette Corbett, Steve Moore. We have other board members who've come on since that time, 160 million, yes. So that's what we have actually granted out into mm -hmm. the neighborhoods, into nonprofit organizations. We still hold in our investment endowment $160 million. Wow. And so we make grants off the investment income. I've seen the foundation grow really through the board's leadership. Um, we moved from a traditional foundation funding just uh, health care to now looking at whole neighborhoods, places like when I just mentioned Coleman Park and looking at how housing and education and employment, all of those factors come together to influence a person's ability to be Eric, healthy. Eric, you were saying that you have the best job. <laughs> you absolutely love your job. I love my um, job. What, what, what is it like when you, know, when you tell these organizations, hey, oh. you're getting this, you're getting this check? Oh, I, listen, one of the best times is we, we, we do a special program called Quantum in the Community. And some of your viewers may know about it because over 200 organizations will get checks from anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000. Our grants can range anywhere mm -hmm. from 5,000 up to 500,000. But we have a special program for smaller nonprofit organizations in neighborhoods. It's a beautiful thing because we have a big breakfast and they all come and they actually get their checks that day. And there's nothing more rewarding, Natalie, than to see people who have given hard work and labor to help others realize that their work is being rewarded. Mm -hmm. And tears, we've seen tears, hugs, I, we get so many hugs. A Joy. range of emotions. A range of emotions, yeah. I know. You have to control all the emotions <laughs> that you're feeling in that moment. Definitely. Eric, I want to talk a little yeah. bit about the Palm Beach Venture Philanthropy Mission. So yeah. what exactly is that? Yeah, within Quantum Foundation, we're a traditional grant maker, meaning off of our investment, uh, off our endowment, we make grants. But we realize that we're limited in our ability to sco have scope and impact. And so what we did, we created a complementary vehicle within Quantum, which allows us, in venture capitalism, we talk, we talk about stacking capital um, for business ventures. Well, in philanthropy, you can look at one individual, one organization with single impact, or you can look at a whole neighborhood or a whole system. For us, venture philanthropy is looking at a whole and asking the question, how do we stack capital, meaning financial resources, which is how we work with, for instance, the housing authority, mm -hmm. or how we'll work with business partners to take our philanthropic capital, private, found, private phila, uh, found resources, mm -hmm. as well as public dollars, and we'll stack it together. And so the, the mission of Palm Beach Venture is to go in and scale the kind of impact that our single grants have had on one person or family, do that across a neighborhood or a community. Wow, what do you think? I mean, the foundation has done such incredible work and obviously so much progress, right, in your nearly 30 yeah. years of, yeah. of doing this, but what do you want to see in the community? What do you think is still needed? 
Well, you know, I, we often talk about Coleman Park, and one of the things that's happening in Coleman Park on the school district's uh, historic Roosevelt High Campus, that was it, during the time of segregation, Coleman Park was a thriving African-American community, had its own business district, um, great education there at the school, the vibrant churches. And so one of the things that's happening now is that campus is being revitalized. Uh, in addition to that campus being revitalized, a health and housing center is coming to that neighborhood where there'll be health care opportunities. I mentioned neighborhood renaissance, mm -hmm. the affordable units. And so what that neighborhood needs and what every neighborhood needs is no different than my neighborhood and your neighborhood, safe, quality, affordable right. housing, mixed income, a quality education, quality child care, um, great places to go to work out. So that community is getting those same things now. And that's, that's what I would love to see in the future for transformation. Making such a huge difference in the lives of so many people. Yes. Eric, thank you so much thank you, for Dr. your Lee. time this morning. We really do appreciate it. Coming up here on the record, my co-anchor Todd McDermott explores affordable housing. That's when we return. Hello, I am Ana Claudia. The Hispanic population in South Florida just keeps growing. We now represent nearly one in three young adults in our community. If you are a business owner, that means you have a huge opportunity. Our team at Straya TV West Palm Beach can help you utilize the power for our audience to grow your business. Please call 561-514-7621 for more information. I was sitting at a red light out of nowhere. I just got rear-ended. I reached out to Morgan & Morgan directly from the scene. Morgan & Morgan got my initial offer 10 x It is so easy. Whenever you need us, just reach out and we'll be there to deliver the health care you need. Find a care site near you at hcafloridahealthcare.com. Meet the traveling trio, the thrill seeker, the soul searcher, and ahoy, it's the explorer, each helping to protect their money with Chase. Whoa, a lost card isn't keeping this thrill seeker down. Lost her card, not the vibe. The soul searcher is finding his identity and helping to protect it. Oh yeah, the explorer, she's looking to dive deeper, all while Chase looks out for her. Because these friends have Chase, alerts that help check, tools that help protect, one bank that puts you in control. Chase, make more of what's yours. The best amenity at V at Lakeside Village? Well, it's not the delicious chef-prepared cuisine, or the world-class service, or even the care plan for tomorrow that empowers you to live for today. Nope, the best amenity hands down is your fellow social butterflies, adventure companions, and creative collaborators. The inspiring people who call V at Lakeside Village home. Find out how you can join them. Today, push harder, push forward, push vigorously. There are things that I am hiding from people that I'm trying to inspire. You can do whatever you set your mind to. I feel like a hypocrite a lot of the times. Don't give up on yourself ever. Smoking, I hide it because I'm ashamed of it. I want to get out of the shadow. I want to show people there is light away from the darkness. I am going to quit. Visit TobaccoFreeFlorida.com to find free resources to help you quit your way. WPBF 25 First Warning Weather, certified most accurate for 11 years. Welcome back. Joining me now is O.J. Johnson with the Neighborhood Renaissance, which helps make affordable housing projects happen. Nonprofit funded by the Quantum Foundation. You just heard about. Thanks for joining us today. Let's first explain what Neighborhood Renaissance is and what it does. Well, Neighborhood Renaissance is a nonprofit real estate developer here in the city of West Palm Beach and with a focus on uh, affordable housing, just trying to create affordable housing, whether it be through rental or home ownership here in Palm Beach County. And the Quantum Foundation helps fund this, these programs? Yes, these? yeah, they're one of our major funders, great partners. Okay. Give me an idea of what this means when you say uh, develop affordable housing. What does it entail for people? What, what, what do you do? So... When we talk about developing affordable housing, it's truly understanding being a nonprofit and, and doing this work and not, uh, not about making the money, it's about improving communities and understanding where the different resources exist, um, different, if it's tax credits, if it's grants or, or whatever, to be able to try to make homes that if you're doing it like in a retail market, it wouldn't make sense. So you find dollars from other places, working with the cities and things of that nature to reduce the cost uh, of those homes, uh, those rentals, or whatever it may be, and we specialize in that. That's what we do, to be able to, to bring that to the community at a, at a reasonable price. And I want to point out here, 
that there are homes available. This does work, right? Absolutely. I mean, we works. know how tough the housing market is, but this is a reality. It's yeah. not a pipe dream. There are opportunities. Yes, absolutely. We are about to close on two homes right now in the city of West Palm. One is being sold for 165000 the other one being sold for 186000 Both brand new three bedroom, two bath homes, new construction. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's real. One of your initiatives is on Coleman Park, which you've been talking about in this program. Tell me about that. Oh, okay, so that is our, our biggest, that's the biggest project we have going on right now. That's a 43 unit, mixed use unit of uh, affordable rental, one, two, and three bedroom uh, apartments. But along with that, there's four commercial spaces um, on the different buildings that will also be able to work with folks in the community to bring small business of people who already have, you know, ideas of business or existing business and bring them and help small businesses get into those units. We should go back and talk about Quantum Foundation for a minute. Explain how their funding has helped you make this all happen. So, especially with that, that project, their funding was huge, and just to be able to, for them to commit dollars to it, to bring it to fruition, was, was huge. But Quantum, they also fund, like, for instance, financial literacy. I conduct for, uh, financial literacy workshops in the community, and those are, they're, they're special because it allows, it's an opportunity for folks to be prepared for the other opportunities that we're bringing to the community, like the homes, like the apartments. It's an opportunity for them to come and, and get an understanding of you know, how to read their credit report, things that they can do themselves, different ways to budget their money. Um, trying to destroy some of the myths about what it is to own a home, that's really important in some of these communities because a lot of them don't believe. What, what, what are some of the myths? That's an interesting topic. Oh, God, that you need a uh, 750 credit score to purchase a home. Not true. Won't be a lot of homes getting sold. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So some of, some of those that you need, you know, $60,000, $80,000 to, to purchase a home. Um, and that's just that's some of the myths that exist in some of these communities. So to have that opportunity to kind of break some of that down and make it real for them, you get a real excitement from people and it, it really goes a long way. And you talked about financial literacy being woven into this. What else, credit scores, uh, perhaps raising a credit score, what, yes. else, what else do you help them do? Also budgeting as, as well. Mm -hmm. um, and what's key in it is, is about how they approach money and how they approach savings. Uh, that's key. So it's about a mindset shift, make, getting them to think a little differently. So it's important, like I said, that you make these opportunities real. And when they, these opportunities become real, they, they approach it differently. It changes their mindset. Now it goes from that could, I could never have that until, no, this is, this is real. So they take things more seriously. And it be, when you just make it real for people. I have to point out that you are a realtor and were a realtor before you were involved in doing this nonprofit work, mm -hmm. but you are changing a lot of hearts and minds here among people, letting them know they can own a home. What's that like for you to see someone realize I can actually own a home? I can think about it and get goosebumps right now. Yeah. It is the most amazing feeling. Um, I go back to uh, one, of, one of my first real estate deals was my actual, my cousin. And to make that phone call to her and tell her, um, that contract is executed, that you're about to get a house, and the scream that she let out and just joy, I, I get goosebumps just thinking about it right now. So it means the world to me. It does. It really and it's does. interesting because I think some people might take that for granted. Absolutely. And Absolutely. It makes such a difference in lives. Absolutely. And a lot of people don't understand the importance of home ownership, and I'm able to explain that when you do build equity and those those opportunities where you can pay for your kid to go to college, where you can start that small business just by paying your mortgage, doing what you're supposed to do, and it takes care of itself as long as you take care of it. I can see it in your eyes how much this means yeah, to you. It does. It does. The organization is Neighborhood Renaissance. Yes. OJ Johnson, thank you so much for joining you're us. You're welcome. Thank you. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. On the record, we'll be right back. Teacher Appreciation Week discounts. Where local educators can score savings starting Monday. Setting your child up for success this summer. Steps parents can take to protect kids' mental health as routines change. We're there when news breaks in every community. Whether you're navigating Palm Beach County traffic or tracking storms on the Treasure Coast, watch WPBF 25 News Mornings everywhere every day. WPBF 25 First Warning Weather, certified most accurate for 11 years. How
much can Steiner Green and Finer get you? They got Richard $160,000. $235,000 for this accident. Steiner turned this crash into $1.3 million. Wow, that's serious money. Bad boy mowers aren't built for everyone. the job done and love every second of it. Bad Boys are built for horsepower and cutting edge precision with a first of its kind three link suspension and a style all their own. Because you're not everyone. And that's a good thing. Bad Boy. Mow with an attitude. There's a lot of things in this world happening right now, and consumers like myself want some level of control. My name is Amy. I've been with FPL over six years. There are so many initiatives to help us continue to deliver clean, reliable, and safe energy to our customers. We've transitioned from foreign oil to natural gas, and we're moving responsibly towards solar, battery, and green hydrogen. And this will all ultimately bring savings to the customer. I know that FPL is looking at other ways to produce energy that down the line will reduce my bill. And the future is bright. There are a few places where you know you'll hear the truth. And this is one of them. With Health Sun Health Plans, life is a piece of cake. With access to exclusive providers that take care of all my medical needs. And all under the same roof. <laughs> it's like a Medicare makeover. With Health Sun, every year you can receive $1,978 back in your Social Security check, $600 for OTC items, and much more. Take it from me. I'm Mr. Sunshine. Your health deserves a five star plan. Call us today. When Gwen got $1.3 million for her car wreck, who did she have to thank? Steiner Green and Finer. Now, the big question. How much can Steiner Green and Finer get you? 800-561-1111. Our guests making such an impact on our community. Thank you so much for making us a part of your morning. And as always, we encourage you to be part of our discussions each and every Sunday right here at 10 a.m., until then, you can watch this morning's On the Record episode and every episode on our website, that's WPBF.com, and on our free WPBF 25 news app. Matter of Fact with Solomon O'Brien is next. We hope you have a great Sunday. See you again next week.